Hello, everyone, and thank you for tuning in to an episode of Data Science Jellyfish. My name is Jelly, and I am a part of the Data Science Jellyfish duo. And today we're going to talk about installing Anaconda and launching Jupyter Notebook. Now we're going to be using Jupyter Notebook for our Python code in a lot of upcoming tutorials. So we just wanted to make sure everyone had the right proper environment that they needed in order to follow along. So let's get started. So our agenda for today, we're going to go over downloading Anaconda. We're going to launch that Jupyter Notebook both directly from Anaconda and from your terminal, either on your Mac or your PC. And then we're going to talk about some Jupyter shortcuts that's going to help you while you code. They're very, very important to know. So the first thing that we're going to do is download Anaconda. And I have some written steps down here of what we're about to do. So we're going to go to anaconda.com and you're going to install your version. So if you have a PC, you're going to be able to install Anaconda for your Windows environment. If you have a Mac, you're going to be able to install that as well. We're going to follow those installer prompts and then we're going to launch Anaconda. So now for the demo, so let's go to that anaconda.com. Only thing you have to do for those who have not done it before is to just go ahead and go to Google, search Anaconda, download, and then it should take you to this first one. That's an individual edition of Anaconda. And so it gives you an overview of what Anaconda is. So it's a great data science toolkit. It has tons of packages that you're going to be able to pull in. It's open source and it's a good environment GUI interface for you where you're able to make data visualizations, do machine learning, and all of those data science skills that are needed in that field, okay? So when I launch it, it automatically recommends which one I should download since I'm on a Mac. If you need to get in additional installers, if you have a Windows, you would just click down here and that will take you to all of the downloads that you need. So Windows, 64, 32-bit, Macs, and also Linux as well. So we're just going to make sure that you click on your right installer and we're gonna click download. It's gonna tell you, thank you for downloading. When we exit out of that, I see my download at the bottom of my screen. And so once that package downloads, I'm going to open it up. I'm going to allow it, and you're gonna go through all of these steps, okay? So pretty much continue with the readme, continue, it tells you a lot about the license. If you want to take your time to read this, I have already downloaded this before, so I'm pretty familiar with what it says, okay? And then it says, in order, you must agree. So reading the license, we're going to say continue in that we agree. It's going to tell you the installation type, and then you're going to be able to click install, okay? You can change install location if you wanted to. I'm only installing this for me. I'm not installing it on a specific disk. So I'm going to hit continue, and then you're going to install. And it should install pretty, pretty quickly. Now, once you have that installed on your computer, like I said, I'm on a Mac. So I just go to my launch pad. If you're on a Windows, you can hit the Windows symbol and just search for Anaconda, and it should come up. And I see Anaconda Navigator come up on my screen. So then I can just double click that. And then it's going to open up our Anaconda Navigator. In here, you can see we have things such as Jupyter Notebook. We have PyCharm that some people love. If you want to code in R, you can do that too and install that as well. And it has Spider, which is also an interface where you can do Python in as well. Okay, so that is pretty simple steps of how to download Anaconda. Now, 
The next thing that we're going to do is launch that Jupyter Notebook, okay? So there's two ways that you can launch Jupyter Notebook. You can launch it directly from Anaconda or from your Mac or PC terminal, okay? So I'm going to show you both. And if one fails, then you have a backup, right? <laughs> so if you open up Anaconda like we just did, you can launch it directly from Anaconda. Just hit the launch. And when you launch, it brings up a terminal screen. It goes to a local host on your computer and it has the Jupyter Notebook open up for you, okay? I'm gonna quit out of this. And then I'm gonna show you how to do it from your terminal, okay? So I am on a Mac once again, right? So I'm going to be able to open up my terminal by clicking terminal. And then it brings up, let me do control Z and exit out of my first Python. I'm just going to go to new window on my profile. And in that terminal, I'm just gonna type in Jupyter Notebook. And from there, it's gonna bring me to Jupyter Notebook. So terminal normally is preferred. So just open up a terminal on your in, um, computer and type in Jupyter Notebook. If that is not working for you for whatever reason, you can also go through Anaconda and just launch Jupyter Notebook straight from there. Okay, so now we're in Jupyter Notebook and we did that demo. We're going to cover some Jupyter Notebook shortcuts. Now, these are tons of shortcuts that can make your life easier. And I have put arrows towards a couple of these shortcuts that we're gonna go over. So you know how to insert cells, how to run a cell, things of that nature, how to undo a deletion. But take some time and go through your Jupyter Notebook and play around to make sure that you have some of these shortcuts down pat. I am sure that it will help you later on. Okay, so once you're in Jupyter Notebook, you can hit new Python 3, okay? And it brings me to a block of code, okay? So I'm just going to do a basic import, import statement of the NumPy library. If I wanted to run this on a Mac, I would do shift return. On a Windows, it's just shift enter. So when I do shift enter, it puts a number next to that block. I know that block ran successfully, okay? I can also insert empty blocks above and below. So if I want to insert a cell above this one, I just hit escape. You see how it turns blue? And then I hit A. Okay, or in this case, I hit B, <laughs> A. And it inserted a blank cell block above the one that I was at, okay? Now that it's still blue, I can hit D twice and it's gonna delete that empty cell. So I'm like, nope, I changed my mind. It deleted the empty cell. Once again, let's just delete this one and I'm going to hit B to insert a cell below, okay? So hit A if you wanna insert a blank cell above, hit B if you wanna insert a blank cell below. Furthermore, it's in blue. I can hit M to change it to markdown. Okay, so markdown is gonna be when I want to add text into my Jupyter Notebook, okay? So this can see I am adding text, okay? If I wanted to add a header, the more hashtags I add, the smaller the header will be, okay? So one hashtag, I'll just say large header, All right? Two hashtags medium header and three hashtags small header and you can see exactly how that looks so that hot key was escape and then m okay to change it to markdown now if i wanted to insert a cell now it's blue so we can hit b and we're going to insert a cell below I can also, if I delete a cell by accident, so let me put something in here like import pandas as PD. And say for instance, I hit escape and DD and it deleted. 
I can hit Z and it's going to come back. Okay. So Z is going to undo the cell that I just deleted. Okay. So those are some important things to know and some important shortcuts. The main shortcut, so you don't have to go back up here and hit run every time, is going to be that shift enter on a cell. Okay. Kernel, you can always restart and run all. You can clear the output or you can shut down your kernel, which is also important to know. Okay. It also tells you how you can insert cells above and below. It gives you those hot keys. Okay. As well as toggling line numbers, et cetera. So like I said, take some time out to learn Jupyter Notebook and learn some of those hot keys and those shortcuts, okay? So that is Jupyter Notebook shortcuts. And there you have it. So you have downloaded Anaconda. You have learned how to launch Jupyter Notebook, both from in Anaconda as well as your terminal. And you have learned some important Jupyter Notebook shortcuts. Just one last thing, if you want to quit out of your Jupyter Notebook, okay, you could do Control Z in your terminal if you have a Mac. Okay, you can just type in exit if you have a Windows, and that's going to be able to suspend your Jupyter Notebook, okay? So once again, thanks for tuning in to Data Science Jellyfish. Please like, comment, and subscribe.